In this video, uh, we're going to show you how you can create workload with the manifest from a private Git repo and have it deployed to a remote cluster, in this case, our demo EKS cluster. So let's first start with creating a couple of namespaces, a namespace called Tom, deploy it to our EKS cluster, deploy another namespace called Jerry. Let's publish that too. Same cluster. Now we have two namespaces here. The next step is uh, create a repo because we want to pull the artifacts from our repo. In this particular example, we're going to create a workload based on this echo.yaml file. So first let's create the repository. So for that, uh, go under uh, integrations and repository and I've um, kind of pre-created this. So in this case, I'm using a personal access token uh, to access it uh, from my Git repo. The validation is successful, which means we've configured our repository, which means the RAFA controller can reach this repository uh, to retrieve artifacts, etc. Next, let's go and deploy an application. We're going to uh, create the first workload called Tom. It's a YAML file. We're going to pull this from our repository and let's pick Tom as the namespace and echo echo.yaml. And then, then we go deploy to this cluster and uh, we publish it. And as you can see here, it should be up and operational. The pods are up. Let's create our second workload. Uh, let's call this Jerry. We're going to do the same thing here as before. We're going to deploy it to the same cluster, just the other namespace, and publish it. So you see here, there are uh, seven replicas again in the Jerry namespace. So now we have uh, Tom, workload running in the Tom namespace and Jerry in the Jerry namespace. Now let's wrap this with automation so that it can be done automatically. So let's, for that, let's go to GitOps and pipelines. Let's create a pipeline called Tom and Jerry. Let's go create a stage. The first stage, we're going to call it Tom and we want to deploy the workload called Tom. The second stage, um, I want to have an optional approval stage. We're going to run this approval stage and I'm going to add an approver called demos at rafi.co. And uh, then we're going to add the third stage. And here we're going to add uh, this workload called Jerry. So now we have these stages and this is a direct exactly graph. You know, this, you know, when the trigger happens, it will just run this in a sequence. Now we have to configure uh, how and when this pipeline will be triggered. Um, so let's go to that. In our case, we'll go with a webhook. And if you remember, the, the file we care about is under the main revision branch and then echo echo.yaml. We're not going to change anything else. We're going to hit save. Let's go add a webhook and uh, we are done. Now this is by default, the pipeline is deactivated. So let's activate the pipeline so that now uh, anytime something changes in the Git repo, this pipeline will run. Okay, so let's go change that seven to two replicas, right? So let's commit it. The first stage is already complete. It's terminating some of the pods. The instructions from uh, the Git repo have been already reconciled for this particular workload. If you approve the pipeline, the second stage, it'll move on to the next stage and it'll take care of updating the Jerry workload as well. As you can see, that also has been done. Setting up a pipeline using Rafe for this kind of automation just takes a couple of minutes. Thank you for watching.